Hello everyone, thanks for coming back uh, on my channel to watch uh, a new tutorial. In this week's uh, video, I'm gonna work on uh, a jewelry box. Uh, it's gonna be pink, it's gonna have a lot of uh, gold and I'm shading a lot. I put, uh, I play with the dark waxes uh, so that I can create uh, more depth to, to the piece. Uh, I'm going pink and uh, it, it will be, I hope, a very beautiful uh, piece of uh, jewelry itself. <laughs> um, for this particular project I couldn't find any transfers that have a makeup um, theme. So that's why uh, you, you are gonna see that uh, I've done again and I'm doing again uh, uh, my own uh, self uh, stick transfers you will have uh, all the products uh, uh, that I'm using you will find them in the description uh, of this video so thank you again let's go through the uh, process of uh, reinventing this jewelry box and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like uh, the content that I uh, prepare for you almost every week and uh, Give me a thumbs up and uh, comment below in the comment uh, section and let me know what you think about it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to address them to me and I will take, I, I will take my time and I will always uh, answer to your questions. So let's get started! Hello everyone, thank you for joining me this week also for, this, uh, uh, for the week's uh, project. Uh, this is part of a jewelry box that I'm working uh, uh, on this uh, week. It had uh, some uh, felt inside and it was really dirty and um, I wanted to remove it. The only way to remove is to uh, moisture the area and then with a knife I'm coming and I'm taking away all the glued felt that it was inside. It's a very long time process, but uh, yeah, I want to make it beautiful. So, and from time to time, I put water inside and I remove all these ugly back things. So this is the one of the boxes and I'm gonna sand first with the 80 grid and then with 120 grid and I'm gonna try to fix as you can see this here. Let's see what can be done. So what I'm doing here, I'm fixing one of the draw, one of the boxes of the of the jewelry box. As you can see, it's not real wood. It's just a lot of uh, boards stick together, glued together, and this glue. I don't know, just. and I put a little bit more so that when I press it it goes way back okay so now I'm uh, applying the first coat of paint I went for Henrietta from uh, Ennis Lawn and I'm also using uh, Ennis um, 
a brush, synthetic brush, flat, uh, because the jewelry box is quite small, so I don't need to use uh, a big brush for, for these uh, small boxes. Um, I apply both inside and outside. It's, uh, as you can see, the first coat, and I already have a very solid coverage, which means that I will probably need only another second coat. Uh, it's the only pink that I used so far and that has such a great coverage from the first coat. So, uh, yeah, let's give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. <laughs> it's indeed a very good paint and very well pigmented. I'm coming now with the second coat of paint. As you can see, I take very small amount of paint and I distribute it all over the surface you really need very small amount to have as you can see a super full coverage it's all you need that's it go in all directions for a smooth finish and it's also almost dry so I got this uh, small um, moldings from um, I'm gonna show you from this um, small business little birdie and they're super lovely and perfect for this jewelry box so I'm just gonna apply them And then I will come and I will paint them, of course. And I still have this one to apply. And I want to put, of course, their logo. <laughs> this is beautiful, cute birdies. And I will connect them like this. So mainly what I'm doing here, this is the hardest part, I think. I have to, rim to, to separate the, glue, the part that has glue on it and mainly, you see, this is not good. Mainly I have to get the white part clear without any anything on it. Okay, now it's okay. This white paper, the part, the white part, we have to keep it because we need it. And super carefully, because it's very, very, very sticky, we have to make sure that we center it well and drop it. It's not perfect, but it's okay. We come with the spatula remove all the bubbles and mainly stick the ink on the uh, sticky part. I have to press really firmly. Take it and we separate it again and now this part the clear part has to be to has to have no glue on it or anything it's just simple transparent paper put it down the white paper with the porous part because we have one unporous and one textured and the one with texture we have to 
place it on top. This is mainly protecting the, um, the transfer so that it does not stick to anything. And then we turn it around, press firmly again, and we are ready to use it. Now cutting the desired part. and separate, get the protection away. This is just a paper and this one, we place it not on this part, but on this one. Okay, and I would say that, I'd say that maybe like this. Yeah, it's super pretty. firmly just like any other transfer it sticks actually a little bit better than the normal transfers okay. oops <laughs> Et voila ready What I'm doing now, I'm gilding waxing the hardware. I washed it and they look like this, really rusty. So I'm using my favorite uh, gold uh, gilding wax. Uh, it's my favorite because it has the best uh, pigmentation. So what I'm doing, I take a very small amount on the brush and I simply apply it on the hardware. It doesn't need any special preparation. You don't have to seal it. You just have to let it dry uh, at least a few hours before you start uh, working with it. So for the second coat, um, I'm applying a little bit of water missing the surface. And because I don't want to put a lot of paint this time, so, like this is the amount of paint that I'm going to use for the front of the furniture. Overlapping a little bit. And with a clean um, oval, I'm mixing together the colors. Barely touching the surface. So now it's time for the transfer, and I'm gonna go for this one for the exterior. I have to go slowly. I didn't. Uh, I didn't connect the boxes, so 
they will move quite a lot and I have to be very careful. And so now we are almost close to release this protection. And here it is. And with a very sharp blade, I'm coming and I'm carefully cutting. Then I will come with a with a um, uh, very fine grid sanding pad, and I will okay. And with some, it should be this one, I think it's over 300 grid. I come and I send. Oops, I didn't cut these two. <laughs> so let's cut also these. So I'm coming with a mix of a little bit of black wax and a little bit of grey wax and some brown. I put them all together and mix them on the lid, remove the excess and then very gently I'm touching the corners and I create this shadow all around the edges. This will make it look aged, old and it will give depth and some more dimension to the piece.
and then with a clean brush I come and I buff very well And depending how much you want, I can leave it like this or I can come with a clean microfiber cloth and I take a very very small amount of clear wax which I buff well in the, in the cloth and then I come gently and I remove A little bit from the inside leaving exactly only the margins Oops. and then the next part is my favorite part uh, taking with my finger a little bit of wax and I come on the margins again I also open a little bit here so that I can put some gold And I'm buffing even more with a clean finger. And if there is somewhere too much, then I come with the microfiber cloth and I take away the excess. Et voilà. And these are the beauties, they are ready. Uh, one of them painted with uh, Annie Sloan, uh, Henrietta, a very beautiful uh, pink. Um, I played inside with some beautiful self-made transfers. I'm showing you, uh, I, I showed you already how I'm, I'm doing this. And the other one, it's done with uh, the transfers uh, Alice in Wonderland from uh, Dixie Belle and I also played inside with the same uh, transfers it's really beautiful these two sisters will be very happy to and I hope they will enjoy many years these jewelry boxes thank you for uh, uh, coming this week and joining uh, me it means so much to me and uh, I'm gonna come next week with another beautiful project so stay tuned thank you